Trump had little to say on his religious beliefs as he believed in nothing but himself, but as I pointed out at the start, he did recognise the importance of the evangelical vote. His personal pastor, Paula White, gives a very good indication of Trump's religion. Wherever I go, God rules. When I walk on White House grounds, God walks on White House grounds. I had every right and authority to declare the White House as holy ground because I was standing there and where I stand is holy. To say no to President Trump would be saying no to God. And, and I won't do that. We are in a spiritual war right now. Let every demonic network that has aligned itself against the purpose, against the calling of President Trump, let it be broken, let it be torn down in the name of Jesus. You want me to tell you what my thoughts are? The thoughts of the King of Kings, the thoughts of the Lord of Lords. I'm downloading heaven. I kind of know I'm a little bit cute, all right? I am Paula who is pretty. Well, maybe I'm not going to be pretty when I'm 90 years old. Here's this former messed up Mississippi girl lived in a trailer that they called trailer trash. Daddy committed suicide, got pregnant out of wedlock, been married, been divorced, not just once, you know, twice. People go, well, how'd you become the spiritual advisor of the president? We'll get to that later. It's all in there. Michael Jackson, Kid Rock, the president, it's all in there, all right? Thank you, Paula. What a great job you do. The evangelicals. I hear we're more popular than ever with the evangelicals. You're the only one, and she'll tell the truth. She'll only tell the truth. Southern California is looking at, ban well, there's already law that's passed through the governor that says the Bible is a book of hate speech and to ban the sale of it. Snapchat was created as the largest human trafficking because the greatest people on there were human traffickers because the FBI and because intelligence could not do it because it's live and it's real time and they can track your kid in less than a second and take them. There's a Department of Treasury in heaven that God is watching over everything you do and you are storing up eternal treasure that will go so far beyond, I think, that we can even begin to imagine. You need to send in $3,500. You need to send in $35,000. You need to send in that $100,000 check. If you do not write that P.O. box and you do not call that toll-free number and you do not become a ministry of sustainer, you will never see sustainment in your life and your dream will die. Your call will die. Here he is, the nominee. That has to be providence. That has to be the hand of God, in my opinion. And any tongue that rises against him will be condemned according to the word of God. It is God that raises up a king. It is God that sets one down. And so when you fight against the plan of God, you're fighting against the hand of God. If we get two more, we will be able to overturn demonic laws and decrees that has held this nation in captivity. tell you that our president is doing absolutely phenomenal, that he is in great health every way. Huge history buff. It's like he understands that which has been and that which will be. Thank you for your courageous and bold stand for religious liberty and for your timeless service to all Americans. We appreciate the price that you have paid. To walk in the high calling, history will record the greatness that you have brought for generations. And so you sit back and go, whoa, oh, yeah, but she crazy. She up there, support she up there in the White House praying. You better believe I'm praying. You better believe I'm up there saying in the name of Jesus. You better believe that I'm walking around those parameters saying I lift this up and I dedicate every ounce of this place as holy ground. I release angels right now in the Holy Spirit and walls of fire. I burn up every demonic altar in the name of Jesus and I call it to crumble. Sakatara, bakasakatara.